we're airborne off the Yola. Um, and today I'm tracking direct uh, to Cobar from Murray Bridge, uh, up to Roma, and then across to Bundaberg. But it's a beautiful morning uh, up here above uh, the Murray River and just tracking over Lake Victoria and I have about two hours to run to Cobar. I'm currently in cruise at nine and a half thousand feet. Uh, I've pulled out the performance um, charts in the operating pilot's operating handbook and to fly by numbers. Um, I lean to 11.5 gallons an hour, the outside temperature is about seven degrees. Everything's running pretty smoothly. In Cobar traffic, uh, Beach Bonanza, Fox Shop, Whiskey Victors, just uh, five mile final, runway 05, Cobar traffic. We're inbound, it's made the circuit at 39, Cobar. Fox 10, Cobar. Fox 36. Right, traffic, Fox 282, now one zero miles to the east of the field on Sam 9200. We're shortly tracking to join uh, Conklin, runway 05. Okay, I'm in Roma in Queensland and spent the night here as I was late to party Murray Bridge in South Australia yesterday morning. And my planned arrival into Bundaberg in the afternoon was already approaching last light, so I was prepared for the possibility of doing an overnighter here in Roma. Doing my calculations, by the time I refuel and departed Roma, my arrival into Bundaberg was going to be after sunset. But as aviators, we know that the term sunset and sunrise have no relevance when calculating daylight operating times for the VFR pilot. For the purposes of flight planning, last light should be construed as a period to the end of civil twilight. So there is a requirement I cannot depart from an aerodrome unless the ETA for the destination is at least 10 minutes before the last light allowing for any required holding. I worked out my arrival would just clip over civil last light for Bundaberg and also considered that it was overcast at the airport which is a factor to consider when planning for last light. Roma it was for one night. Bundaberg time 5-7. Traffic Bundaberg. 